Hello everyone and welcome to LoRaWAN with STM32 Getting Started Series Part 7. I'm Shrikant and in this video we will learn how to perform current measurements for different modes for STM32WL using LPM01A expansion board. Here are the tools we will be needing to perform the measurements. On the software side, we will be needing STM32 Cube Monitor Power, STM32 Cube WL firmware. On the hardware side, we will be needing STM32 WL Nucleo Board, X Nucleo LPM01A Power Shield, USB Type B cables, and some jumper cables. Before we move on, let's educate ourselves with all the tools we will be using for this measurement purpose. The X Nucleo LPM01A is a 1.8 volts to 3.3 volts programmable power supply. It performs static and real time measurements up to 250 milliamps respectively. As we mentioned earlier, STM32 Cube Monitor Power is a software tool which enables the users to analyze the low power performance of target boards, and in our case, STM32WL. You can download the software from ST's website. Now let's talk about the connections from our power shield to the microcontroller. The X Nucleo LPM01A can power supply a target board using a basic connector CN14 for wire connection to any target. On the STM32WL side, we can use jumper JP1 to measure the microcontroller consumption by removing it. Connections should look something like this. We will also be needing two USB cables to power supply both the boards. For our measurements, we will be targeting the EndNode application present in the Applications directory in the KubeWL firmware. Now, in the EndNode application, we can enable the low power mode by setting the value of low power disable in sys underscore conf dot h file to zero. We can set the TX power to 0 dBm by choosing TX power 11 for default TX power. The reason we are choosing 0 dBm is due to the current limitation in LPM01A expansion board. In this video, we will be recording measurements for run mode and stop to mode using STM32 cube monitor power and compare them with ideal power profiles from our data sheets. We will be monitoring the power profiles for STM32 WL nucleo board using STM32 cube monitor power whenever it joins the network, transmits, opens a receive window, and when it's in stop to mode. Now the first step would be connecting the LPM01 power shield using a USB cable and opening the cube monitor power, selecting the COM port, and clicking on taking control. 
here we need to update the parameter values for sampling frequency to 20,000, current threshold to 50,000, and acquisition time to infinity. Once we set the parameters, we can click on Start Acquisition to take the current measurements. As you can see, the initial phase is when the end node is trying to join the network. Then it starts to transmit some messages, the opens receive windows, and in stop to mode, there is no activity at all. We can zoom in into the power consumption of stop to mode in the power profile we recorded earlier, and we can see here the average power consumption is around 2.4 microamperes, which matches the numbers we mentioned earlier in the datasheet. You can check out other documents pertaining STM32Q monitor power, nuclear expansion board, and also the examples in the QWL firmware package under the example section. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out our other videos in this Getting Started series.